peace and blessings family so i know with this journey it's really hard in some ways to come up with different meals especially when you've been eating the same foods for so long and a lot of times when we just think of veggies we get like oh like uh, that's boring but you can do so much with veggies like when I say raw, I mean just using more fresh ingredients. And, you know, you can still dehydrate, especially you want to stay away from a lot of oil. You don't need oil when you're making your foods. You really don't. Your foods, is a lot of stuff is naturally moist. So you put in a dehydrator and it'll start to get nice and moist. But you can get you some uh, peppers. You can do stuffed peppers. Get you some uh, pecans and mushrooms. Blend them up, dehydrate it, stuff the peppers. Make you some nuts cheese with some cashews and boom there you go add you know your other ingredients tomato sauce you can do so much with raw meals get you some zucchini noodles um, make sauce you know a lot when I did my 20 day raw challenge you know I was just coming up with stuff every day and it was just interesting like you know I was just coming up with different stuff just different things that I like because me personally when I was growing up even though I ate veggies i really didn't eat veggies y'all like i was not that veggie person i try to tell people all the time doing these challenges and detox and monthly helped me get back um to wanting more fruits and vegetables so i like with my journey and like it really started with my son after i had him um in 2012 i ended up gaining up to getting up to 240 pounds and the only way i was able to lose it was detoxing i did a three-day juice cleanse and um after those three days i lost 10 pounds and i felt amazing so um and i was also eating a lot of beef and pork just all a lot of shit and i cut off beef and pork because i noticed what it was doing to me like i was getting black bumps on my <laughs> chest and i was like ew and i felt disgusting and um, I stopped eating it. I did a three-day juice cleanse afterwards. I fast for 21 days, just, you know, eating healthier, removing those items out of my diet, and seeing for myself that my body doesn't need that. After that, I couldn't eat it again. So I kept doing it because I just felt awesome every time I detox. So I kept detoxing monthly, kept it. That was my routine. Um, and I removed chicken and turkey. Um, 2016, 2017, my body rejected chicken and turkey then it was seafood like around 2018 19 afterwards you know that's when i'm completely free of all meat when my body went completely vegan i really didn't know what to eat you guys like and like i said even though i was juicing and detoxing i still wasn't really putting a lot of meals together um so when i when my body went co completely vegan i that was like the 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 point for me to get back in the kitchen but i was doing a lot of processed foods too and starchy like i really got picked up on french fries and you know you see that all this is emotional and i was also healing my body from a lot of different things too like i was used to take a ass of plan b birth control like my and just shit that's why our bodies be out of whack you know even from the food just from shots period um so i was just dealing with a lot emotionally and all of us that's the goal is getting our bodies back to a natural state so that's why we're supposed to be detoxing detoxing all these chemicals out um i started doing more bird eye root uh the, i went to jamaica i found out about sea moss in 2017 and i kept doing more like bladder rack um bird eye root was my favorite that bird eye root is cleansing your blood Blood, bladder rat is a full body cleanse sea moss as well then um you know i just kept trying out more herbs more herbs that's when i started making my own juice adding the herbs and fruits because i really see that fruits is detoxing the body so that's why i always tell people seeded fruits no matter what even if you're just eating your fruits that's the best but you want to go three days just juicing because you're allowing your system to rest our bodies have been doing so much work Work, trying to you know already process all these meals that we're eating we're not really supposed to be eating that much a lot of times you're just eating just to eat because you feel like you're supposed to have a breakfast lunch and dinner and really you you can just eat fruits all day but you're getting your body back to that that's why you're eating these meals and meals and meals you're just you know getting yourself to the point where okay you know i don't have to eat all this food then you're like i don't have to eat this much da, da, da. it's gonna keep getting better it's better and better and that's why you enjoy the detox journey the more you 
detoxing your body is releasing and you're connecting back to self so it took me a while to get to the point where i can just eat fruits all day like i said um 2000 i say 21 is when i did my 20 day raw challenge i went um 20 days just getting creative making my foods and stuff and afterwards my body did not like i could not do that only um french no more like french fries like french fries was a comfort food for me um so i would eat that a popcorn just a lot of stuff was comfort foods for me and um i noticed my skin got worse i honestly felt worse than i did when i was eating meat when i was just eating starchy like the acaline it was just a overboard of starch and oils in my body so like i said i did the um raw challenge and ever since i went just the 20 days raw it was showing me that oh my god i don't need all this shit like even though i was vegan i was still thinking i need that no but no when you go raw for 20 days oh my god it's amazing you guys and you know it's a it's a process because like i said i had to enjoy the journey i've been on this journey for a minute so now i can go days just without eating some days i could just eat watermelon and some days i'd be wanting different foods but when i try to eat like a french fry i throw the fuck up like some days you'd be wanting certain stuff like i could still do maybe white potatoes but i can't really do too much so my my whole thing is what i can eat i can still do corn but i can't do no oil or butter so if i do any vegetables i can't do oil or butter um it will fuck my stomach up if somebody put too much oil, i'm gonna throw the fuck up when people make food for me i usually throw the fuck up because they put too much oil in it and it's like fuck like we don't need oil in our foods you guys really don't oil and butter we just need fruits and vegetables and we can use our herbs this season that's it that's it you guys but um yeah just wanted to share this journey i know a lot of people are struggling with meals i do have an ebook a lot of my recipes were just recipes that helped me because me personally i just be putting stuff together so i just literally just you know added a few recipes that helped me use the ones that i that helped me on my journey too and i put them all together like it's over so many different recipes so many um so yeah, make sure you check it out. I give out my ebook when you uh, buy my juice cleanse. I will give out a copy of my ebook for free. Um, so, yeah, enjoy the journey. My website is www.rainbowjuicecleanse.us. I don't ship my juice. You will have to travel to Columbia, South Carolina to pick up the juice. With my juice, I use alkaline fruits. You want to use seeded fruits. Like I said, it's three days. And the three-day juice cleanse, you drink four juice a day. And after you finish detoxing with the juice cleanse, you want to continue to eat healthier, you guys. That's the goal. And this, this relationship is just about getting connected to your emotions being light on yourself seeing that the foods do charge and heal your body um you know you're letting go of the chemicals when you detox you don't want to detox with all these chemical powders and uh a acv apple cider, apple cider vinegar that is not what you need to detox with all you need is fresh fruits you guys you can get you a watermelon juice that up add some bird eye root get you a cantaloupe get you seeded grapes get you a honeydew cucumbers get you some tamarind juice boom and get you uh the jars fill it up and drink it even if I'm not able to make it, you can do this on your own. This, like I said, this is a journey that you want to keep going. When you you don't want to, you know, start and just stop. Even if you do stop, it's okay. Start back over and get it flowing, you guys. It's a beautiful everyday journey because it's not just about, you know, when you start detoxing, you'll start seeing that this journey has been deeper of why weight picked up or a different um, diseases come to the body, not because of the foods, but also mentally, emotionally, things that we may have been going through and stuff. So, yeah, just enjoy the journey. Uh, love yourself. Ma! Peace and blessings, family. So this is one of the best markets in Colombia. She got everything, plus more, everything grown fresh.